how to edit 80% quickly. Then add your creativity style is our topic today on Luminara Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello, everyone. Welcome. So we're going to work on our, our, our special topic today, and that's how to do these quick edits. This came about because I was collaborating with Jim Nix, and I saw this incredible video he did. And thankfully, in fact, I'm going to give you this real quick. This is a free um, Luminar Neo um, preset that he created that I'm going to be using during this show, so you can look at it right there. I'll show it again at the end, but let me show you what we're gonna do. Here we were in Iceland. This is one of Jim's images. This is what it started with. So here's the original. Look at this. And this is what we're gonna turn it into quickly and then add our creativity. So what I'm gonna do is delete this image, go to the trash bin. Now. I'm going to come in and we'll start from the beginning. Here's the image that Jim sent me. Uh, I could have used one of my own, but I wanted to use his that he did. The first thing I want to do is this. Step one is I am going to drag it to HDR Merge and let Merge do its magic. Now keep this in mind. HDR, you don't need to have the full bracketing. You could do one image and it'll tone map that image. That's what we're gonna do with this image here. I dragged it in. Now look at this result. Look how cool this looked just by doing that one step. Now what I'm gonna do is, here's Jim Nix. I'm gonna right click. And I'm gonna create a new subfolder. And I'm gonna call this new subfolder complete. All right. And then there's the to be processed. Well, that image that we just did, it automatically put it in this HDR merge right here. So it automatically put it in that folder. Well, I don't want it in that folder. So I'm gonna just grab it, drag it, and move it, move it over to the process folder. So now this is where it's in. Now, just to show you the before and after, I'm gonna add it to the album, we are and here we go here's the original and with that one um click we brought it into the hdr merge this is what we came up with how cool is that let's take it a step further so i'm going to come in and we'll use the jim nix mood collection and once again here it is you could download it Screen capture this, copy it, or when you watch the replay, you could do it from there. I'm going to just come over and hover over some of these. And the one I landed on is number six. Oh, I like that one too. Actually, I like number eight also. You know what? Originally, I liked number six. I'm going to go with number eight. Now, I could take this, dial it all the way back to zero. So this is the original and I'm gonna slowly increase it. What I'm looking for right now is the overall image. I know those mountains I'm gonna to have to change. So I'm gonna to look to see what it's doing to everything else. You know what, I like it at 100%. All right, so I'll click on edit. Now, here's the beauty. I just did two steps, HDR merge, and then we used a preset. But wait, it gets better. What I love what our Skylum team did was this. Under edits, look at this as history. All right, think of that as history. Not only did you, are you able to edit it, but you got to see what Jim Nix did. You got to see what the creative person did with this preset, and we'll walk it through, all right? So this way you'll teach yourself what he did. Well, here's develop. There's before and after, not a whole lot. Super contrast. There we go. Look, he played with the highlights, the midtones, the shadows. And now you're getting into the mindset of how he created this. Color harmony. This right here did a lot of the heavy lifting. 
I love what it's doing. Not a huge fan of what it's doing to those mountains, but that's okay. Enhance AI, took it a step further. And then structure, I noticed that Jim, I love a lot of structure. Jim brought a negative effect into that structure. And then mystical, oh, that's that dreamy, remember 12, that's that dreamy type glow. I'm going to move it back to 12. I just wanted to show you the extreme. All right. Now you have two schools of thoughts here. 80% of the work has been done. Now I want to add my own creative style. So I have two schools of thoughts. I can either go back through each of those presets or each of those tools that he applied and then do something to that mountain or the easiest thing to do is the mountain I think is oversaturated. So I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to do a global change, affect the entire image. So in this case, I like the way the mountains look right about there. Pop up a little of the vibrancy, but I don't want it to affect the entire image. So that's where masking comes in. And we'll use AI masking just to show you. And it's going to analyze this image for me. Look, it found the mountains for me. But because there's reflections in that water, I'm going to come into the brush and I'm going to tell it, look, you know what? Don't forget, let's get rid of, or let's only apply it to the mountain that's also in the water. So now that tool that we just did, I'll go to an extreme so you can see it. Look at this. It's only adjusting the mountains. And that right there is what I like. Yeah, look at that. Bring out the vibrancy a little bit. All right, now, hopefully Jim's not watching right now. I love a lot of structure. Now, that's craziness. But I love structure. Jim would yell at me. So I'm going to dial the structure back a bit. And all I'm looking at right now is the sky. All right, I'm going to add more structure in the sky. Again, there's that mask. Mask AI. Notice how quick that was because it already did the mask once before. I only want to apply that tool to the sky. Nowhere else. Just to that area there. And now let's see the difference. Look at that. All right. And now here comes a little more creativity. I'm going to boost up the shadows a bit. Maybe pump up the exposure just a touch. Right about there. Let's see if it makes a difference. Yeah, to me it does. And we'll do one more. I'm going to choose the subject, which is the mountains. Dial it back a bit. But here's the real hero, the inner light. I want to draw focus to that area. That's a little too much. Let's see if it makes a difference. Yeah, yeah. look, 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 look what it's doing. Look how it's zooming in on that mountain, and cropping. Let's see what AI thinks. AI is telling me it looks pretty good, but you know what? My eye says, I want it right about there. All right, and again, you just do that to taste. All right, moment of truth. Here we are. Let's check it out. There's the before with the tone mapping. That's after. And overall, here we go again. Before, after. Now, where do I put this? So now I have to do something with this image. Well, I'm going to export it. And now that I had it as a TIFF, I want to save it because I want to send it off to Facebook. In fact, I could tell it export. And then over here, I could use the image quality. I could create it. But I want to make my new one on my own. And where do I want to put this? I want to put it back in the image or the folder that it came from. And I know that it came from my photography. And I did put this in Coffee Break. I made a folder called Jim Nix. There he is. And there it is. Look, complete. 
select the folder, watch this. I'm going to export that to the complete folder. And because that folder, Jim Nix, is inside my Luminar Neo, guess what it's going to do? It's going to automatically appear. It's automatically going to show me once it's done exporting. I, I did export it at full resolution to save time on this. I could have sent it smaller, but here we are. Where is it? There it is. Look at that. It brought it in automatically for me, and it's a JPEG. Now, let's see the before and after. So I'm going to bring it down to that gallery. All right. And if you don't, let me get rid of this one for you. Um, remove the trash. There we go. So here's the original that Jim sent me. Here's my interpretation. How cool was that? Again, all we did was we used 80% to get us where we wanted to be. Then we went into it at our own creativity, and you saw what I did there. But the cool thing about all of this is we used Jim Nick's preset, anyone's preset. It got us where close to where we wanted, but then we go to that edits or our history. Well, okay, it's not going to show it here because I exported it, but it's going to show us. It's going to give us that list of what he did. So we got, you got into his mindset. Now you're teaching yourself, what did Jim Nix do? So if you ever wonder, well, what did Jim Nix do? What did Jacob Bors do? What did Vanelli do? Check out the preset, look at the history, and then add your creative flair. How fast was that? Real simple. All right, there we have it. Real quick, let me go up to here. So once again, there it is. And now, by the way, you, you scan that. If you sign up for his newsletter, you'll get all of his um, free tools. This was one of them. I highly recommend it. And by the way, if you don't have Luminar, now's the time to check it out. There it is right there. Scan that QR code. All right. Now, by the way, if you found that this was very helpful, please do me a favor. Join our Facebook group. Here we are on our social media. Join the Facebook group. Hit, use this on your image and then leave comments in the group. Show us and make sure you tag us. Either tag me, Jim Nix. Tag us if you want feedback on what we did and what you did there. They will be more than willing to help you. Um, and just let me know. Let me know how it works. Because typically, most presets I found over the years don't always work for every image, which is understandable. <coughs> Excuse me which is understandable. However, because we're using AI, it does a heck of a job to get you there. And you saw what it did. I liked it, but it wasn't perfect for me. That's where I went in and just did a few quick edits. For me to sit there and look at that image, do it again, for me to look at this image over and over again, I'd have to spend at least 15 to 20 minutes analyzing, well, what do I want to do to this image? How do I want to enhance it? Jim did all of that for us. Now we got to where we wanted to go. Then we added our creativity with it. All right. Well, guys, if you're here, please stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment. For everyone else, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you at the next coffee break.